It's uh, eight o'clock, well, it's actually two minutes past eight. Just waiting on James now. He has actually driven back from Cornwall this morning. The car is all loaded up. Everyone is ready apart from um, James is in here. But we're just hoping he doesn't turn up with a load of tools because the car boot is already full. There's only room for a small bag. And we have joked that, well, John said we should change the tracker to where's James rather than where's Ollie. Because we kind of need to get going up to Scotland. Um, A.W. Jenkinson's that we're going to be refueling on Monday, meeting the Certus wagon there, have put a, t a post out the other day, which is great, and it's been shared loads and loads of times. The only thing is they missed some like crucial details out, like one that we're running on new renewable energy, two the sort of the main reason why we're doing it. So there's loads of people like keyboard warriors wading in, going, "Oh, what a waste of fuel!" Blah 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 blah, and um, that don't know exactly what's going on. So. It's quite funny, it's quite good for the algorithm because people have also now gone on and commented and said, do you actually understand what's going on here and, and giving them loads of stick back, saying, why don't you do it on a bike? Well, we're trying to raise awareness, so the more people are talking about this, the better. So if it ends up all over the news causing a traffic jam, I don't, um, at least people are going to talk about the reason why we're doing it, which is kind of why. But anyway, well, it's no different to what happens on rural roads every single day of the year anyway. So, yeah, so if you're bored, go on Facebook and read some of the comments, they're quite funny. It's only like two or three people. One guy's moaning about the fuel. This is the same guy that sells trucks and has a motorbike as well. We're on our way, but the roof bars are whistling, so we've decided to stop. And this is how far we've come. There's the yard. They're whistling that much, we thought, sod that. So we're taking them off, putting them in the boot. No idea who said that. Have you got them, um, the Tim Tams? But we've just demolished the first packet and they're really good. We are here. Not far off Perth, where Crawford's from. Just gonna ref just refueled. Look at the flies on the bumper. A couple of hours and we'll rendezvous with the combine to escort it the rest of the way. John's just gonna take over and drive. We're just coming up to the roundabout in Perth, and Sellers is somewhere on this industrial estate, which is where we're heading for tomorrow night. We've got 200 miles to go to get to John O'Groat and catch the combine up at Inverness to escort it. Some road works here that we've got to call to get escorted there uh, to make sure that we're allowed through tomorrow. This is the narrow bit, but it's pretty wide, isn't it? If that big John Deere will fit through, I'm sure we will. Well, in the Highlands now. Okay. Caller on the radio. We're now we're about, what are we, 7.1 miles off meeting the truck. That's the what three words for where we're going to meet it. Martin's going to put that on his phone now and see what it comes up with. So, according to John, reckons that that red canopy is the football stadium where the truck is parked. And we're just trying to, we've just realised we can say avoid motorways on here, which is good for, for when we're on our way back. Six minutes apparently. So we're heading here, 3.4 minutes, shiny, rigid puppy, start. You can tell we're further north, the OSR is still in flower. There's a bridge there. Hopefully, somewhere around here. It's going to be a truck with a combine on. Nope. Can see the sea. Sea behind that fence there. Let's see. Can you see that? Can you see it? Get it? Get it? Um, I think it's on the right. Damn you. Okay, then the one oh, it's all double yellow lines because the football stadium, isn't it? Jock McDonald Stadium. Yes. Uh, he's left us. He's gone. I thought he was going to be here by the football stadium. What's that bridge called then? I don't know. That's today's quiz question. <laughs> Inverness Bridge. No, we, we put up, dropped a pin in the map. Oh, there was a, there was a dealership just back there. 
A, co- a tractor dealership? Yeah. Um, could have been part of it, couldn't he waiting for us? I'll slap him after ringing. Probably be parked by a good cafe, will he? <laughs> yeah. Why don't we look on the telematics app exactly where he is? <laughs> we got the technology, get it up, James. We just, I saw that we saw that camper van before. We just come down the A9, went that way, thinking he was meeting us in the industrial date, but he's not. He's meeting us just a little bit further up in a lay by somewhere here. Hopefully he's round this bend. There he is. Oh. <laughs> he's there, but we were there, it's camouflaged. Oh well, the line it's fell off it, the minion is still on. Woody and what's the name is still on? Looks like he stopped quick, the minion's fell <laughs> back. Just fitting the roof bars now and then the side on the top. I reckon all these cars are driving past going, what they do messing with the roof right as it fell off? Here we go, ready for the off again. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> Ass abnormal. So the lady got a soft tyre, so luckily we've got an airline on board. So we're going to blow a tyre up for her. And then we're ready for off again. Like the guys in the moped. The three mil moped have just pulled up. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. They're also got a little sign with them that they showed us at a roundabout. Oh, oh so it's, it's only a, a, three, a three wheeler trike. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice wide seat. So this is, these are going John O'Groats Land's End as well. But they're going to take a week, 150 mile a day. Spur tyres and everything. You only spur tracks for Alexian. <laughs> <laughs> How can people follow you then? Where do they find you? Uh, Facebook, well, Facebook UK BSA Aerial Free Group. Right, there we go. You've yeah. got a sponsored page, he's got a yeah. just giving page from there. All so, yeah. oh, right, brilliant. <laughs> Joggle for wonkies, I think it's called. Joggle for wonkies. Yeah. <laughs> Donkey pets. Well, good luck anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's a fire combine up because the air, the air tank was getting low. Yeah, as soon as you fired it up, it went up. So we'll put that back in there. Put that there, shut that, lock that, off we go. What's this? Do you know what the bridge is called here? Uh, not sure to be honest yeah. Alright, well we're going over this big bridge, does anyone know? I'm in the truck now, car's behind, and we've got about, what is it, 90 mile, 110 mile to go? 110. 110 to John O'Groats now. That's a hell of a grain store there, isn't it? I have actually been there. Oh, a long while ago. It's massive, isn't it? Must be a cooperative store, that, mustn't it? Yeah, I mean, it is. There's the car now, swapping places. He was no, behind, but now it goes to single track, so he's now in front. 111 mile out to go. It's all about the camera angle. I'm going to go across that bridge in a minute. Shame no one's got a drone actually. Whilst he's going to try and get his drone out, I've crossed over to get a stunning picture of it. Just stopped, so I've turned the telematics on for a minute. The ignition on, sorry, to the telematics does a refresh so anyone tracking us can see where we are. Martin's trying to take his drone off, get a video and a picture over there looking back. What happens when the battery goes flat over there? Are you eating again? I know. <laughs> <laughs> that lasted the summer wine, isn't it? That's <laughs> army.
Watch that seagull. There we go over the water. We, we wanted Martin to, to run behind with the drone, but he didn't want to. So we're getting a bit further north. It's uh, getting a bit chillier and a bit cloudier. It's a shame, really. We thought we'd have had a, like a, a beautiful sunset. That's a herping, that, isn't it? Taking us. 13 degree drop. Escape lane ahead. Got the chains of sight. Oh, it's going cloudy. I'm gonna film this because it's it's proper steep in a second. I think it drops down, curls round, then goes right back up the other side. And this is where the engine will bark. We're going on that road over there next. It's a dead long descent, isn't it? Yep. On the foot, the exhaust brake. You can't see how steep it is on the camera. At least the car will recharge coming down the hill. So they, that's a gravel trap, I think, if you get it wrong. You don't want to go off the edge of there, would you? It's a long way down. Combine will come up, what speed the combine will come up here in the morning. There you go, so there's a gravel trap now for if your brakes have completely gone. You can try and stop on that bed of marbles. It's like really deep gravel, like pipe bedding to stop you. speed up the other side to put his foot down in the car it's James there getting another angle to hear it growling north of Helmsdale. Cows there running to the road to wave us on. sure it's around here somewhere where there was a combine just parked in the field at the side of the road when I was up here a few years ago. Just entering the massive town of Wick. This is the dead centre here. People are dying to get in there, you know, right next to Little and Farm Foods. That barley looks well, doesn't it? Yep. 
16 miles to go. You want me to top it up now? Uh, we'll probably do it in the morning, eh? Or whatever, I don't know. There we go. 13 miles to go. It's getting a bit more remote now. We're about two miles off John O'Groats. It's actually sort of clear up there. You can see across yeah. to them islands. James getting another picture. Can't really see for the flies on the window. Did you know it's National Take Your Combine on holiday to Scotland Day? I think it's over there where them coloured things are. That's the visitor centre. There we go. Welcome to John O'Groats. There's the uh, Sea View restaurant where we'll be going for our meal in a bit. And uh, this road now is just to the signpost. I find a coach park. We're arriving now into the car park. A few people here in boiler suits. They look like combine fans, not moped spotters. Plenty of room there, weren't there? Yeah. Moving calculation. Please make the new turn if possible now. Ooh, big speed bump. <laughs> Everyone's putting the coats on. James is regretting his shorts. It's it's only 10 degrees here. It's been 25 nearly all the way. There's the famous signpost. There, someone stood it getting a picture. Realise this bollard falls down, so we're going to back up and get the combine closer to the signpost. I reckon this is the first time this has ever been done. Glad they made the stones four metres wide. Of the sign is quite low. The auger goes over the top of it. No birthday bump today because we're busy, so I'm going to read it off John's phone. Anyway, happy birthday to John Sweetenham, he's, he's 30 on the 3rd of June. Charlotte Edmonds is 21st. Emma Reese is on there. Tom Payne is 32. Rob Nicholas is 3rd of June, his birthday. Claire Williamson, happy 40th. Sorry, Andy Williamson. Um, and I pressed the wrong button. Wait there, what am I doing? Oh. Where did I get up to? Um, quite a lot today actually. Um, Paul Donahue and Fraser Harrison, 46 and 14. John Lovick is 46. Ray Brabazon is 19 today. Helen Collins is 10. Happy birthday to you and Peter Sedgmore, happy birthday. So that's the birthday bumper at John O'Groats today. Gonna go get something to eat, get there any night. So thanks for watching and we'll see you all tomorrow. Actually, one last thing, if you're tracking us tomorrow, if you follow the, the tracker for the phone, that is a bit quicker refreshing than the one on the combine. So uh, yeah, do that and we'll see you all tomorrow.